Well, good day. It is the 12th already of July. My stay in Chicago is coming towards an end, and um, it's still overcast and cool here, you know, but um, it is what it is. Get a lot of questions, and I've done a lot of videos in the past on qualifications and things like that, but for those of you who are newer to the channel, this is... Um, uh, directed toward you because I'm, I'm getting a lot of requests. Please review my resume and so on and so forth. And um, here's a, a couple of points I want to make. There's a couple of very common questions. One is, which degree or what what should I major in if I want to go into federal law enforcement? Well, here's my opinion first. Here's my opinion. This is not fact. This is opinion. I don't think you should have to major in anything. I think if you can pass a test, a written test, you know, if it were up to me, which it isn't. Uh, I don't think that the credentials are that essential. I think, you know, again, working in law enforcement, federal law enforcement, state law enforcement, it's not so much a, a level of education that you have as it is a personality, okay? And uh, I've met plenty of people with PhDs or law degrees who would not you know, succeed at all in federal law enforcement. And I met plenty, plenty of people who have high school diplomas who were state and local officers assigned to the DEA task force, and they did better than any DEA agent. So it's not really education. Now, having said that, the government has decided that a bachelor's degree is essential for criminal investigative jobs, and that includes the FBI, the DEA, um, the ICE, um, and ATF, you know, most of the alphabet soup agencies, if you have a sp special agent title, you have to have a degree. Now, what should you major in? Whatever you like to major in, criminal justice is in no way essential, okay? So, actually, I think if you have a degree, and it doesn't matter what agency you're going to, with the Bureau, they specifically look for people who have degrees in other areas, such as accounting, computers, physical sciences, psychology, but this applies really to all of them. I mean, if you have a degree in computer science or accounting, you're useful to any agency, much more so than a person with just a criminal justice degree. And I'm saying just, you know, that's what I have as a criminal justice degree. Now, you know, if you're not interested in any of those areas, you know, then yeah, certainly major in criminal justice, that's fine. But do I personally recommend it? You know, no, I, I recommend doing whatever you want to do. I mean, if you want to get a degree in computer science, forget criminal justice. It's a lot easier to train a computer scientist to be a federal agent than it is to train a federal agent to be a computer scientist. How's that? You know, so um, the, the main thing is, if you're going to ed substitute education for experience, which most people do, have a high GPA. You know, not really high, but at least a B average, you know, uh, a 3.0 out of 4.0 poss possibility. So you have to buckle down and study. That's the main thing. Secondly, people who are coming out of the military, um, does it matter what your MOS is? Well, if you have a high speed MOS, and for those of you who don't know, an MOS is a military occupational specialty. So if you have a high speed one, such as the you know, rangers or seals or recon or something like that. Yeah, that's really going to help you with certain aspects of federal law enforcement. But to get yourself, you want to get the, the five point veterans preference. Okay. You want to be a preference eligible. So, but a lot of this is not within your control. They're not deploying to Afghanistan or Iraq anymore. At least I hope it won't be. Uh, but if you did and you, you, deployed to those places, then you are entitled to your preference eligible. They have to hire you over a non-preference eligible. Okay. The third question I get, diversity uh, type of questions. Here's what my two cents are, and it's worth two cents. Okay. Um, when I was hired by DEA, I was 25 years old. I didn't have much law enforcement experience. Actually, I had about a year working in a jail. That was it. So really no investigative experience. And what got me over the top was my Navy Expeditionary Medal, okay? But, and this was at a time, 1985, there weren't a lot of veterans anymore. Now, 10 years before that, it would have been full of veterans. But at this point, 
uh, it was only me and maybe two other people in the class that had been in the military. And uh, the coordinator called me and he interviewed each one of us personally. And he said, I don't know why you were even hired. You don't have a stable enough employment record. Now, this is the class coordinator, the GS-13, who like oversees, babysits the class. Then you have counselors and you have instructors. Here's what I did, you know, because I got a preference. Right? I studied every night because I was concerned. You know, I said, I got all these detectives. They probably know a bunch of stuff more than I do. So I spent two to three hours every night studying everything I learned in the class. And you know what? I got the highest score in the class. So nobody can argue with the highest score, you know? And in PT, I was the second highest. A woman, Meredith Thompson, God rest her soul, beat me. She had a perfect score of 50. I had 44 points out of 50. Okay. Shooting, I did pretty good. Practicals, I did pretty good, above average. So nobody can argue with you if you are the best in academics. Nobody can argue with you if you're the best in PT. And I did above average in those other things. And a lot of the people that were cops, they washed out of the program. So, you know, you know, preference, schmeference, you know, uh, I did better than they did. Now, why did I do that? Because I just tried harder. I'm not smarter than they are. I just tried harder. So instead of thinking, you know, I'm going to get this, that, or the other, uh, because people will always say, well, you only got it because of, you know, in my case, because you deployed to the Persian Gulf. Okay, yeah, I deployed to the Persian Gulf. Or they'll say you got it because you're a member of this group or that group or whatever group. If you're the best, nobody can argue with that. So that is my rant on everything, okay? That covers three things. It covers what degree you should have, okay? It covers how you deal with, if you're military, you know, that you need a preference, um, uh, you know, the veteran's preference, if you can get that. How to deal with claims of preferential treatment. Uh, hopefully these have answered some questions that people have emailed me with. I'm sorry I can't do a more better, longer, detailed video, but when I get back, I will, okay? Uh, and it'll just be a little while until I get back. So have a good day. Thank you for watching and God bless you.